Hello and welcome back to another Tits and Tech Tuesdays. My name is Gus and today we'll be talking about an application that is exclusive to Samsung users. This is episode 3 in the Galop module series and today we'll be talking about Theme Park. Theme Park lets you create a theme by using the automatically recommended colors based on your wallpaper or by selecting the colors you want. You can change the colors by app to suit your taste. And when you're creating a general theme, you can create for dark mode and light mode separately. We're talking about customizing the Samsung keyboard, quick settings window, the volume control window, and your icon pack. And if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and remember to like this video. Let's dive in. So I'm assuming that you already have Theme Park installed. And if you open Theme Park, you're going to see some selections at the bottom. Volume panel, icon, quick panel, keyboard, and theme. And we're starting with the volume panel because this one is relatively simple. But let's go ahead and just tap create new. And when you tap create new here, whatever wallpaper you have selected right now, it'll give you some colors based on that wallpaper that you currently have. And if you wanted to just customize it with your own colors, you see that each panel has a red circle. Then when you tap on that circle, it will let you choose some of the current colors that you have, or there are some colors that are pre-selected at the bottom. There's a few ways you can do this. You can adjust the saturation, whereas it's a richer color or a lighter color. And there's also, you can go ahead and add your own hex code. This will just give you some hex code colors that you can select manually and really dial in what color you want. So for this one, I'm just going to go with green and this is just going to be a green and black theme. And you can customize this in so many different ways. Some people want higher contrast, some people want lower contrast. If you tap on the moon icon at the top, this will switch it to light mode. So there's light mode and dark mode and then it lets you select the colors. So if you switch your phone between light mode and dark mode, you have that custom color for both of them. So when you're finished adding your colors, you're just going to tap the download button right next to the light mode or dark mode. And then we're just going to save this with a name. I'm just going to call this green volume. Now when you're finished adding your colors, make sure to tap on the one you created and then you just tap apply is when you hit your volume button, you'll see it looks green. Well, mine is green. Whatever your color is, it would be that color. And if you tap the three dots, you would see exactly how you customized your volume panel. So moving on, let's go over to the icons. Now, I've already created some icons. The thing about the icon pack is there's so many ways you can customize your icon packs that I'm just gonna do one. If you want me to do more customizations like this, you can let me know in the comments and then I can make a specific video just for icon pack because you can do so many things in the icon pack that I just did one customization just to show you what's actually possible with the icon. So we're going to look at the bottom here where there are shapes. As you can see here, there's a few shapes here. I use the kind of like dew drop looking shape, uh, but there's cauliflower, there's like a hexagon, there's a star. And right below that, you see where it says effects. Now, this is where it gets a little bit spicy, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. I want to take you over to the end here. So right to the end, there's a little plus sign right there. If you tap this plus sign, and this is where it gets even deeper. If you tap that plus sign, you can go ahead and use a sticker as an icon. So for example, if you tap sticker, here are some of the default stickers that I have, but it goes even further than that. If you tap on your own stickers, this is just a sticker that I have of my son right there. If I tap on that sticker and then I select that sticker, my icons then become the shape of that sticker, <laughs> right? I think that's super cool. Uh, if you have stickers that you just want to use for your own icons, this is probably one of, one of the best things about the icon packs and customizing the icon packs. I think this is really cool. 
Now, moving on, I'm not gonna use that for this particular icon pack. I'm just gonna go back to this dew drop looking one. Below this, you see where it says effects. You're just gonna tap that, that uh, icon right there on the right side, I'm just gonna tap that. This is where I customized, I used a gradient, but there's one, two, three, four, five different selections in here of the types of things that you can do with your icons. Basic, film grain, duo tone, glass, and gradient. I chose gradient. I'm gonna use my gradient right here. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna hit download in the top right corner. I'm gonna call this gradient one. Let's call this gradient one, okay. All right, and now my gradient is done. Tap on the gradient and I'm gonna apply the gradient. And you can see how that shapes out. Those colors are extremely cool. So moving on, we have the quick panel. I've created a green theme and a blue theme. So let me show you how both of these are created. So go ahead and create new. And as I mentioned before, the reason this has this color is because it takes the color from your current wallpaper. So each of these red circles represents a color in your quick panel. And you have to be careful when you're customizing your quick panel because turning off something needs to be one color and turning it on needs to be the next color. So for example, if you were to set your airplane mode to black, when it's on and black when it's off, then you won't know when your airplane mode is on or off. So if you like to have really good contrast, remember to set it to one color when it's off and one color when it's on. Each one of the red dots represent a color that you can change in your quick panel. So for this theme, I'm actually going to change it to green on and black off. I'm going to change the icon to white icons. I'm also going to change the notification text to white because it's going to be easier to see the white text on the green. And you're doing this by simply tapping on the red circle and selecting that color that you're choosing. There's also the default colors at the bottom along with the transparency of that color. This particular one is for dark mode, but remember if you just tap on the moon in the top right corner there, it allows you to edit the light mode colors. Now, when you're done, you're going to tap the download button in the top right hand corner, give it a name. I'm just gonna call this one green black. And to activate this one, you tap on it and then you tap apply. So here's what my custom green panel looks like. And I've also customized the blue one. Let me know what you think. So moving on, let's move on to the keyboard. If you don't know how to use this, you just have to tap create new and it looks the exact same way. The only difference is it uses the colors from your wallpaper. Each one of these red circles represents something that you can edit. And there's something unique about this one because you can also add a photo to your keyboard. It's pretty cool, right? So I'm gonna tap this photo icon right here on the right side and you can do two things here. You can tap theme park where you have some selections. These are some that I would have downloaded. And then at the bottom there's popular and latest. So these are actually in, for example, I'm just gonna tap on this one right here. As you can see, it took me over to the Galaxy store to download it. So some of these are available for free and some of them you have to pay for them. I'm just gonna use a free one from my gallery. So I'm just gonna go back and tap on the photo icon and then tap on gallery. And then in here, you can just use one of your own photos. So just tap on one of these. And now that photo is at the back of your keyboard. It, this is basically, if you don't want to use a theme or if you don't wanna worry about changing the colors or anything like that, you can simply just add a nice photo to it and you're good to go. 
So when you're done doing this, I'm gonna leave mine in the blue. You tap the download in the top right corner. And also remember, there are different colors at the bottom that was recommended to you with your wallpaper. At the top, you can also use the setting to change the dark mode and the light mode. So for me, I'm just using dark mode. So I'm just gonna change mine back to the dark mode. And then in the top right corner, you just have to tap download. And then you give it a name and then you tap OK. Now to enable that, you just tap on the keyboard there and then you tap apply. That's it. And then this is how your keyboard would look. So for example, if I pull that up, here's my keyboard and it has the blue contrast exactly how I edited it. Nice. So up next, we have the theme. Now this is where things get really interesting because each one of these themes are themes that I've already created based on wallpapers that I have. And one thing to note is that your icons do not change with your wallpaper. So for example, I'm just gonna create a new one. I'm gonna tap create new. I'm just gonna leave this particular wallpaper that you see right here. And just below that, there's, if you select current wallpaper, it'll, it'll use the current wallpaper. If you select gallery, it'll pull, it'll open your gallery and you select something from there. I am just gonna be using this wallpaper that I have. So I'm just gonna hit next. Now, as you can see here, it has automatically generated some colors based on this wallpaper, just from selecting my wallpaper. So over here, you would see in, some, in the messages, it has a different messaging color. So I'm just gonna tap the bottom here. CD selections, it says, select a main color and style. The color and style affects the overall colors and mood of your theme. So below here, I'm just gonna select any of these. And if you look at the messages, it's gonna change that. It's also gonna change the quick panel. Now you can tap on these individually and change them how you like, but this one, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. You can choose light mode or dark mode. I'm just gonna, I'm using dark mode for now. And I'm just gonna tap download. You give it a name and then you tap okay. So I have some of these themes that have already been installed. I'm just gonna show you how these ones look. I'm gonna tap apply. And if I go out of here, if I pull down from my control panel, you would see that my control panel is the color based on the based on the wallpaper, based on the wallpaper theme, and my icons have not changed. So it does not change your icons. You would have to manually change your icons because the theme doesn't change your icons. So I have my default icons or I have some dark icons, and there you go. That's how it looks. And just like that, you've gone from a stock interface to something that feels 100% premium. That's the power of Theme Park. Let me know in the comments, did you go for dark mode aesthetic or something bright and colorful? I read every comment, guys. Make sure you're subscribed for next week's Tips and Tech Tuesday, where we unlock even more hidden features on your Samsung device. My name is Gus, and thanks for hanging out. Cheers.